Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. You'll get all the updates. Uh, very nervous about today's beer. I know I usually say I'm very excited, but... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty, uh, pretty nervous. Uh, it's courtesy of Grant slash Sir Lord Ford. Thank you so much. It's from Licking Hole Creek Craft Brewery. 6.5% ABV. It's a Mango Habanero Brown Ale. I mean, who hasn't had a million Mango Habanero Brown Ale? <laughs> Excuse me, got the hiccups. Um, I'm seeing if I'm going to hiccup again. Think about that. All right. Wasn't sure I was going to have to restart this video. Well, I mean, it looks like a brown ale with some cut with something. Hmm. Totally tell I just washed this glass. Um, all right. Let's see. This bold, beautiful, sticky, and sweet brown ale starts off with hundreds of pounds of our state-grown barley. It's very cool that they grow it uh, on their estate. Then it's layered with caramel and chocolate malts for that classic American brown ale taste. I like brown ales. I haven't had one in a while. I don't remember the last time I reviewed one. It was probably Bravo, which was barrel-aged and like an imperial version. Um, we subsequently treated her to an unruly amount of mango puree, a profusion of spicy but outright flavorful habanero peppers. <sighs> It's a very brown color for a brown ale. Um, that head is eh, a little darker than khaki. Probably had about a finger when I first poured it. I got talking. Uh, let's get to the aroma. It does have that classic brown ale smell. Um, I, I it, it's not a descriptor of of a brown ale, but. I think brown ales go very well with smoked meat. Um, not that it smells smoke or anything, but just kind of has, it's just like a reminiscent uh, for me of like, you know, eating some pulled pork or something, drinking a brown ale. It's definitely invoking that memory. So it, it does have, the, the short version, it has enough of a brown ale base that's like reminding me of when I used to drink more brown ales and what I would eat with those brown ales. There is an extra level of sweetness that I don't that, that does seem fruit sugary um you know brown ales can you know be sweeter or at least a little bit on the sweeter side um uh, but this this smells different than brown ale in terms of the sweetness I could see I would have if, if I was describing this blind maybe say like green pepper like I get that kind of a pepper not a spicy pepper but but what pepper smells like like I, I can get that too um, I would not have guessed mango specifically and like an unsweet caramel so again it's it's not it's a different sugariness than what I'm thinking the mango is doing but it does have like a burnt sugar kind of a thing like a caramel. Uh, yeah, pretty good aroma. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Yep, I don't like that at all. Nope, that is bad. Mm. Grant, I'm going to assume this is one of the ones you did not like. Because he did tell me, he goes, yeah, he does not like all of them. And, and don't feel bad if you don't like all of them. Yeah, I don't like this. These are not good flavors together at all. Um, oh, man. No. Uh, it is a little smoky. I'm wondering if how much of that because it, 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 again, I do like pairing brown ales with, um, you know, I remember drink a lot of uh, Ithaca's nut brown ale uh, with a lot of uh, barbecue. So again, in, in my mind, I kind of associate brown ales with smoky flavors. There's a little bit of a smoky thing here. I'm wondering how much of it's from the pepper versus the beer. It really is reminding me that I've not had a brown ale. It's been a really long time since I've had a brown ale. To really be able to uh, pull uh, uh, descriptors of what that tastes like. Um, you know, you can get a little nuttiness, hence the nut brown ale. Um, definitely the caramel malts would, would show. This has, let me do another swig, it's, it's really bad though. There is some heat throughout. Um, when I first take a swig... It, like the, the heat almost goes straight to the back. Um, and then as I continue uh, with the experience, you get more of a leveled out spiciness. 
the mango, just like the aroma, I, I wouldn't have specifically thought mango in this beer. Um, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if someone said it's a fruit adjuncted brown ale, but I wouldn't have guessed that fruit being mango. I don't know what fruit I would have guessed. Like, it's not particularly, you know, it's not like it's banana or something, you know, it just, it, it doesn't, it just screams generic fruit addition. And it's just, yeah, the flavor combination's bad. It's just, it's, it's just, it's, this is not, I don't, I don't know if I've had anything else by licking hole, but like. I'm going to assume and hope that this is not a good representation of, of what they're doing. I, I, I will amend this. Um, <clears throat> as, although I still would not have guessed mango, I would have thought somewhere in the uh, tropical fruit range. Um, maybe even pineapple, I would have believed. Um, not a very ripe pineapple taste, but, um, I would have believed that. The aftertaste, once I fight through the, the generic tropical fruit thing, the, it's not overly spicy, but that spicy thing. The aftertaste is reminding me of what brown ales taste like on the finish and, you know, the aftertaste. Um, and there's like a, like I was saying earlier, an unsweet caramel is lingering, I assume from like the caramel malt. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of like a nutty, um, woody, actually a little woody, which is interesting. Yeah. Not full on oak. <clears throat> like it doesn't scream of, you know, having been in a barrel. It just has like a woody thing. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear what my thoughts are on this beer, but thanks for uh, setting it. It's always cool to try different and weird beers, and sometimes they land and sometimes they don't. This one did not land for me in the least. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see if, if this is one of the duds uh, in Grant's mind as well. Have you had this beer before? Actually, what I'd be most curious is, have you had other beers from this brewery, and can you tell me about those? Uh, that I'd be most interested about. But if you have this beer before, I would be inter I would be interested in that as well. Uh, check me out on Instagram and on Tapped. There's no hype beer reviews about those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, pretend to sip another thing on camera. Cheers. Mmm.